Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I am the Franchise King. Let's talk about the Ten Commandments of Franchise Research, also known as the Ten Commandments of Franchise Research. That was the voice coming down from the mountain. Yeah. Anyway, uh, all kidding aside, uh, the, the most important thing you can do when, when trying to find a franchise that is a great fit for you, that you can afford, and that can be profitable, is to do amazing, powerful research. And that's what I teach people to do day in and day out. So let's talk about the Ten Commandments of Franchise Research, and we're going to go with Commandment number three. And if uh, you want, you can go back to Commandment number two and Commandment number one by subscribing to my YouTube channel, which you might be on right now. Commandment number three of Franchise Research. Always research competitors. Here's what sometimes happens. You find a franchise, let's say it's in the uh, uh, retail clothing area of franchising. You really, really like it. You've done some due diligence. You've done some proper franchise research. You've gotten some answers. You're maybe halfway there to making a yes or no decision on that franchise. And uh, you stop for a second. And because you have read my books or have read other articles online about franchise research, especially mine, uh, you know that you should probably check out a competitor of the franchise opportunity you're looking at just to make sure that you are looking at the right one for you. Because what, what can happen is, as excited as you are about the franchise you're really, really focused on, a competitor of theirs might offer a better opportunity. In addition, things like royalties, the percentage of the of a revenue that you pay the franchise or might be a percentage point less. That can add up to a few thousand dollars a year that goes right back into your pocket. Uh, there may be advertising fees in one franchise and zero advertising fees in another franchise or really, really low percentages of, of, of an advertising uh, charge to you. A lot of stuff could be different. Uh, territory. You may get a two-county territory in a franchise you're looking at, which is massive. You look at the competitor and they only give you one county. So your, your first bet was really the right one. The point of it is, don't put your eggs in one basket. How does that go? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Because it, it, in franchising, the, the investment is so large and, and it's for so long. I mean, you're doing this five or 10 years. Once you sign a franchise agreement, you are in. There, there's no going back. So if, this is a long-term investment opportunity and a long-term relationship you're going to be creating with the franchisor and other franchisees around the country. So it's important that you choose the right one. Take your time and make sure you scope out at least one competitor just to compare and see if you are looking at the right franchise or if the competitor offers something even better. You never know. I'm Joel Ababa, the Franchise King. Thank you for watching this video. More to come on the Ten Commandments of franchise research.